Happy Friday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about how to attract and manifest the kind of life that you want. Did you know you can do that? The law of attraction, according to Jesus, works. And it will work every single time that you do it. Every time you do it and stay with it, it will work. I guarantee you, God's word works. I'm going to show you how to do this. Some of you already know. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. We are talking this week about receiving from God. This is how to do it. Receiving is causing something to manifest in your life. It's one thing to know about it. It's another thing to possess it. To possess it. Today is offering day. Call me today when you do your offerings and your donations so that I can speak God's word for word blessing over you. God gave us the words to speak. He said, this is how I want you to bless people. Now, people speak blessings all sorts of ways. But there's only one real way to do it. And that's the way God told us to do it. Because he said, if you do it this way, I will bless them. So, my responsibility and obligation is to speak that word-for-word word blessing over you. God's obligation and responsibility becomes to bless you. And we all know, if you've been watching these videos for a while, you know that the blessing of the Lord, it makes rich. More money than you need. More than everything, everything you need. More food than you need. More gas for your car than you need. More everything than you need. So that you can be a blessing to other people. You can't be a blessing to other people if you don't have enough. Or if you have just enough. Just in, People say, oh, Pastor Jim, all I want is just enough. Wrong. You should want more than enough so you can help people. We give away, you wouldn't believe what goes on behind the scenes here because our partners are so wonderful. Our partners do all this. One of these days, there's going to be a judgment seat of Christ. And when there is, all of you partners are gonna get called out and you're gonna receive rewards like you that you don't even know are out there for the things that have been done through this ministry. You're gonna receive rewards. Jesus said, those who support a prophet receive the prophet's reward. Everything we do here, everything I do, you're gonna get rewarded for it. And likewise, everything you do, if it's good, and I know it is, I'm going to receive a reward for that too because I support you. Amen. Call me today if you need prayer. Share this video with everybody you know, please. Nobody should be sick or broke. There's people right now, the wife of a very, very well-known prominent person is suffering a terrible illness. Perhaps from an injury, I don't know. But faith in the name of Jesus would heal her. Nothing is impossible with God. No, God, God says, is anything too hard for me? They sent out a letter telling us 
that she, her problem was the result of an injury. I looked at Mary and I said, so God can't heal an injury? He can heal an injury just, just as quick as he can heal a disease. What's the difference? When it comes to the power of God, there is no difference. I operate in the unlimited, immeasurable power of God through faith in the name of Jesus. And that's why I get such incredible results. Nobody should ever die of sickness, disease, or life-threatening injuries when they get me involved. They won't. Young man, a week ago, horrific accident. They never thought he'd make it. He's alive. He's going to make it. There was a young man as a result of a motorcycle accident about a year ago. They told his mother he will not live through the night. Somebody, her sister, told her to call me, and she did. And I said he will live and he will not die. In the name of Jesus, he recovered. I'm telling you, folks, that's, that's just, I give all the glory to God. I just did what Jesus said to do. I use his name to make miracles. He said, you could. I do. The law of attraction according to Jesus. Now, two verses. Write these down. Because these two verses will enable you to get anything you want from God. Jesus said, Mark 11, 23, what things soever you, do, you speak and believe, you will receive. If you say it and believe it, you get it. What would you do if God showed up right now in front of you, or Jesus showed up, and he said, from now on, everything you say about yourself will come to pass? I bet you'd get a little bit careful about what you say, wouldn't you? You'd get a little bit careful. You'd be real careful. <clears throat> I get real careful about, <clears throat> excuse me, about what I say because I know if I say it and believe it, I'm going to have it. Good or bad. So I say, money cometh. I say I am rich. I say I am smart. I say I'm getting better looking every day. Look at this face. I'm getting better looking every day. I say my body is getting younger every day. I am getting stronger every day. Everything always works out for me. Everything I touch turns to gold. Does this sound familiar? Does this sound like what we say every day when we do these videos? Do you know why I do that with you every day? Because I want you to get into the habit of saying that and you'll say it and you say it and you say it and you say it and you say it and the minute you start to believe it, it will work in your life. But you gotta believe it. You have to believe it. But here's the thing. What you continually hear, you will eventually believe. The news media knows that. They should start every news story out by saying, they, they start out by saying, now in tonight's news, what they really should say is, this is what we want you to believe. Because the news is telling you what they want you to believe. And they say it over and over and over and over. And that's why people believe some of the things they do. They know how this works. And so do we. The communists, we used to refer to it years ago as the communists used to call it brainwashing. They would wash your brain. Well, I want to wash your brain with God's word and get you to the point where you have heard this so many times 
that you start to believe it. Because when you believe it and you say it, you get it. How about if you start, started saying, I know one lady who was dying and she started saying, I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. I am a covenant woman, Lord. You heal me. I am healed. I deserve to be healed. She said this every day, all day long. From July till Thanksgiving. July, August, September, October, November. Five months. And she got healed. I said, I am blessed. The blessing is my inheritance. Now, we were struggling to pay our bills. The blessing is my inheritance. I am blessed. Now, Lord, you bless me because you said you the, the blessing would come upon me. And I'm a covenant person. I deserve to be blessed because of what Jesus did. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Now, you bless me and you do it now. And I went on and on and on for eight long months. Every day, all day long, Mary will tell you. And Jean, when you get to heaven, ask her, she'll tell you too. And some of the people in our church know I was doing this. I just did it all the time. That's all I talked about. The blessing, the blessing, the blessing, the blessing. And guess what? God had to speak to me and show me how to get it. Because I didn't know. And nobody else did either. But he did. He told me how to do it. That's why I tell everybody else. I tell everybody else how to get the blessing and wrote the book on it. And the book not only tells you about the blessing, but how to get it. Because I know how. You don't have to spend eight months doing that because I can show you the shortcuts, which I do. I know how to do this. And I do it. And I said it and said it and said it and said it. I called things in Romans chapter 4, verse 17. God who quickens the dead and calls those things that be not as though they are. In Joel chapter 3, Joel says through the Holy Spirit, he says, let the weak say I am strong. Weak people need to say I am strong. Stupid people need to say, I am smart. Sick people need to say, I am healed. Poor people need to say, I am rich. Speak the opposite of what you have and you will attract and manifest what you want. But you got to keep doing it. Because if you say it and don't believe it, nothing happens. Abraham called himself father of many when he was 100 years old. His wife was 90 years old and God told him they were going to have a baby and he didn't believe it. But he said that so many times a day for three months and his 90-year-old wife got pregnant and had a child because God's word works. Now, you pick out what you want to attract and manifest in your life and start saying, I have it. I am strong if you need to be strong. I am smart if you want to be smart. I am successful if you've been a failure. Speak the opposite of what you have and your life will turn around. That's how to attract and manifest what you want. And I will help you with it. You call me and I will speak the opposite of what you have. Only when I do it, it happens. Because I've got the faith to do it. Amen. Glory to God. Share this video with everybody you know. Today's offering day. Make sure you call me when you do your offerings and donations today. Because I want to speak God's word for word blessing over you. I am determined that you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life. And I'm going to keep pounding this and pounding this and pounding this until it becomes second nature to you. Until you start to say it and believe it and receive it.